Uh, it was developed in 1970s by Dassault system uh, by Dassault system teams. CATIA is capable of creating parametric and non-parametric 3D model. Uh, the, uh, the program is uh, compatible with uh, Windows and other uh, previous softwares. Uh, it is available in eight languages, which are English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, uh, Chinese, uh, Korea, uh, Korean, and Russian. The software is available in two types, depending on the functionality required, CATIA V5, uh, experienced and CATIA 3D. The CATIA V5 is the latest version and, is, uh, and it's characterized by improved user productivity and uh, ease of the use. It also offers high compatibility with uh, other versions and the smoother transition to the 3D experience. Uh, the 3D, uh, the CATIA 3D, uh, 3D experience uh, is the second version. It is similar to V5, but with additional integration. Uh, in general, this version offers uh, offers a 3D modeling and simulation capabilities that optimize uh, the efficiency of all types of users, uh, both uh, both uh, experienced and inexperienced. It is its surface modeling tools are an add to its features and it is a strong modeling tool and very well suited uh, for uh, beginners. It is a power, uh, its power is in dealing with large equipments and assemblies as engineer Haider mentioned yesterday and its interface uh, and its interface uh, helps create complex parametric uh, parametric models. The software was originally developed for use in the aerospace industry, which is why it is considered as a complex tool used. Uh, uh, Katia was initially used to design the um, 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 marine uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, currently, it is used by uh, Boeing, uh, BAE System Space and uh, other companies. Uh, which uh, functionalities does CATIA support? It supports part modeling, assembly modeling, surface modeling, finite element analysis, sheet part design, rendering, and engineering and drawing and creation. Um, uh, and as um, it shows here in the picture, CATIA file extension. Uh, Dassault system CATIA v uh, 5 CAD application has a native part file format of CAD part, but the application allows users to save the part as a step file format. Most, if not all, other CAD uh, packages are developed to read this file type to, like uh, because it's most common. Uh, uh, this step, this step file is most common uh, type. And for example, if I created a part using Katia, then I saved it. I can um, I can reopen the file and modify this using uh, other softwares like uh, SolidWork. And um, and here's some demonstrative uh, demonstrative uh, examples of what uh, what you can create uh, by using. By using CATIA software, you can model airplane, uh, your car, uh, drones, crane, and uh, much more advanced application. Any questions so far? Yes, everything is Okay, so now how to create a part using CATIA. Here's a simple steps how, uh, of how to create uh, a part. First, you will go to File, then a new, uh, then you will, you will choose it from this uh, box part. Uh, step two, you have to choose your reference plane, which plane you want to work, uh, work on or to create a part on. Um, then you will uh, start the sketching by clicking this icon as uh, it's shown here. Uh, after you open a sketch, he, um, it will appear for you um, 
um, more than one commands and depending on your design what you are uh, what is and your target what you want to model and what you are to what you want to design uh, you will choose uh, you will choose uh, uh, you will choose the right command that you wish to make uh, for this model I choose circle then after that I'll go to constraint the as it's labeled by, num by number two uh, to to add the dimensions, which is 120, the diameter of my uh, of my circle in this example. Uh, then the fifth step, uh, I will convert the 2D sketch to the 3D model. Uh, in this example, I will use uh, I'll use I use bad command to convert it to 3D model, but actually it depends on your design. Uh, you can use um, you can use uh, a other model available in Katia depending on your design. And after I choose bad uh, command, I um, I specify the length. Here it is a 20. Then this is the final model. Uh, this is um, a simple uh, steps how to create a part. Uh, in the next few minutes, I will work with you uh, in the software and I'll show you how to do all of these step by step. And now, after I finish, uh, after I finish the uh, introducing Katia and the basics of it, uh, now I will apply with you one one model, which is Rackenpenia. As you can see, uh, it's simulated here. Uh, I chose the the Rackenpenia. I chose the Rackenpenia uh, system because it's an important system, uh, and it's used in many and has many application. And I found it uh, interesting to model and simulate. Uh, it consists of pinion, which is the circular gear, and rack, which is the linear gear. The system works by converting the revolving uh, motion into a linear motion. Uh, most common ca uh, most cars, uh, small trucks, are equipped with uh, the rack and pinion system. Um, it is used in uh, stair lifts, uh, steering, rack, ride wheel, and actuators. Uh, I'll start. Um, I'll start by modeling the pinion. Then I will do the assembly uh, of the rack and pinion system. Uh, thereafter, I will do the simulation. Uh, here's the specific. Uh, here's the drawing sheet uh, with the dimensions uh, of the pinion, and here's the specification: the inner and outer diameter. It's already mentioned, and it's in the drawing here. And the n is a twenty-four is the number of teeth. Number of top. Uh, now I'll switch to Katia software. I'll stop sharing from here. Uh, any questions so far about what I had presented? Uh, now, can you see the Katia screen? Uh, yes, we can. Okay. Uh, I'll start by um, modeling the gear. I'll go to Pi, then a new. Then I'll choose part. Uh, once I choose bar, this is the screen that it will appear. Uh, I'll choose the plane that I want to work with. I'll choose uh, Y and Z. Then I'll go to sketch. Um, I'll sketch a circle. Then I'll pad it because this is my model. Uh, the diamond, uh, the inner diameter was uh, 120. Yeah, but before this, I'll, I'll, 
I want to show you something. Uh, before you start working with, uh, with any part, uh, it's better to go to Tools and um, Customize. Uh, what I will do now is sometimes the tool, uh, the toolbars here, uh, some of the uh, tools is not is disappeared or not here, or the uh, location of it's not uh, clear. So you do, you go here to the toolbars and restore, uh, restore, restore all content, restore position. And then okay. Uh, here you click and drag for more command. Click and drag. Okay. And also, if you want to uh, change uh, uh, change the units, I'll go to Tool Option. Currently, I'm working with uh, metric with millimeter but I'll show you how to change it. From here you can change, uh, can choose. You can change uh, what you want to work with. Um, I'll keep it as millimeter. Okay. And then okay. Now I already created the circle and the sketch is already here. I'll pad this one. So I'll convert it from 2D to 3D using pad command and I'll put it back by 20. Okay. Um, from here you can uh, change the view. Uh, this is the isometric view and I can change it to the front view, side view if I want. I'll keep it. And uh, this command to put to the page, this is to move the part and this one to rotate it. Um, if you remember, the gear has a hole in the middle, so I'll click here and I'll go to sketch. Sorry, there was a hole here, so I'll create a hole using hole command. Uh, the the diameter was forty. The type of it up to up to last. And for you, now this. Uh, and now I'll create the, I'll make the tool. I'll go to sketch. And uh, the shape of dot is kind of a trapezoidal, so I'll, try, uh, I'll first I'll sketch a rectangle, then I will uh, uh, make make a trap. I will make it trapezoidal. Uh, from constraint, from here, I'll uh, uh, the, uh, add the dimensions. The dimensions here is six, and. Um, and here it is a twin. Now I want the center to be fixed here, so I'll then I'll uh, click on coincidence because I want the center of the rectangle to be uh, the root of the circle. And then I'll use the uh, profile command. Okay. 
Uh, and now I'll trim the extra uh, because I want only the trapezoidal shape. So I'll go to here. I'll uh, choose this command, uh, quick term, trim. Um, to make sure that the sketch is closed. Because I don't need this one here, so I'll turn it. Now this is the how the tooth look like. Then I'll go to exit, exit a sketch. I'll pad it. Um, you can click on this uh, arrow to reverse the direction or from here. Uh, now uh, for, for my gear, it has uh, 24 tot. So I had to do a circular pattern, but before that I will the um, I'll, I'll do an edge fillet from this side and that side. Then I'll go to edge palette. Um, I want it to be two. And now I want, um, uh, I will do the circular pattern for, for the tooth. I'll choose the uh, circular pattern. Uh, then uh, I have 24 and the angular spacing is 15. The, I have to choose the reference element. I'll click here. And here we go. This is the gear and it's ready. Any question? There are uh, no questions, but as soon as someone asks, I will let you know. OK. Uh, now I will um, I'll make the drawing sheet for this part, then I'll do the assembly for uh, for the rack, uh, for the rack convenient. I'll not draw the rack with you because I prepared already. Uh, it's almost the same as what I did. So to uh, create a drawing sheet, I'll go to file, new again, then uh, drawing. Uh, here you can choose, choose the size of the paper that you want to work with. I'm fine with A4. Uh, portrait or landscape, I'll go to portrait. Now there's two views. This is, uh, this is the working view and there is and the sheet background, which is this one. Uh, from sheet background, I'll create the title block. So I'll go to title uh, frame and title block from here. Click on it. There are different styles for the, uh, for the title block. Sample one, sample two, this one. 
uh, I'll go with sample one. Then create a block. Uh, and here you can add the title of your um, drawing sheet. Uh, here is the scale and um, the if, uh, the size of the paper, the date, your name. And if there uh, if there are more than one sheet, you can uh, modify from here which uh, sheet is this one. If it's one one out of two or one out of three. So for this one, let's be right. And here it's written that uh, Dassault system, it is the company that uh, uh, created this software. Now I'll go to, to the working view and uh, I'll go to Insert a view. Okay. Uh, uh, I want to bring the um, isometric view. I'll click on isometric, then I'll go to window. My part, it is, it's part one. I'll click anywhere here. Then, uh, it's like here. And from this knob, you can rotate the part. I'll find this one. I'll click OK. Um, and now uh, uh, I'll bring the other uh, views. I want the front view. I'll, I'll do the same. When I click here, then I tap here. This is the point of view. Um, uh, um, I'll change the scale because it's too big. I'll go to properties, right click, properties, then one out of three. And for this one too, make it one, three. Uh, from here you can, um, I'll add the center line. Uh, and if you have thread on your model, you can uh, click this box, it will appear on the drawing. But uh, for our model, uh, there is no thread, so only center line. Uh, also, you can change uh, from properties the uh, projection method if it's a first angle standard or third angle standard. By default, it's first angle standard, and you can change it to third angle if you wish. I'll keep it first angle.
uh, sorry, I will I already I already share it. Sorry for that. Can you see my screen again? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, uh, like what I did, like I bring only the isometric and the front view, but I can uh, bring the front top and the the bottom at one time. At what time? At one time. Uh, I go to insert. Wizard, uh, then wizard. Um, from here, uh, you will choose. You can choose which uh, side you want: uh, front, uh, bottom, left, or the this side, style, or this one. I'll go with the first one. Uh, yes, I think it will not work because I already bring these here. Uh, I'll 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 close it and reopen it because I don't know. It's I'll open another one, another drawing sheet. Drawing portrait. I don't know what's happening with the software. Uh, sorry for that. I'll try to relaunch the software.
I'll go to find you. First, I'll bring the views. I'll go to insert drawing a views wizard with it. I want this aside. And window. Uh, I have to go window and to the part and connect it on the part. These are the three views uh, front, uh, left, and bottom. Uh, I'll reduce the size from properties one over t and for the front uh, for the front view I want the center line uh, for this part the bottom view and the left view almost they are the same so it is useless to have both of them uh, in one drawing sheet. So I'll delete the front. And now I want to bring the isometric view. I'll go from here and click on the isometric window to the part. And I'll click anywhere in the part. And there, there it is. From properties, I'll choose exercise. Okay. Uh, I'll do the dimensioning, then I'll go to the uh, block title. Okay. Uh, for me, I don't like to keep this key because it's already will uh, be mentioned in the block title. So I'll delete it. And from here too. Now to do the dimensioning, I can do it manually from here. Uh, can because I have a circular part, so I'll click on diameter, I'll click here, then it is the day. Then here it is. Or I can go to insert dimensioning uh, generation, generate dimensioning. Uh, for this option, it will generate more than one dimensions, and uh, some of them are repeated. So, I'll delete this one. Okay. I'll use uh, this dimensions to link. The outer diameter is 140. Um, and that's all for the dimensioning uh, because for this part, there's mm, uh, like only the uh, the, circ the outer and inner diameters and the um, for the top, and that's it. But if your part has more details, uh, you can add uh, more the required the required dimension as your part uh, needed. And now I'll go to the sheet background. I'll create the title box. Uh, I'll choose sample one. Create, apply. Chadwick and our scale was one to three. Um, and 
as I showed previously, uh, you can um, add the information based on your based on your design uh, or model. And after that, you can save the. I can't. The, I can't. Uh, in the background, uh, background uh, view. You can't. You can't edit anything from here. Only the block. Uh, uh, only the title block. So if you want to edit anything uh, from here, you have to go to the working view. And that's all for the drawing sheet. I'll save it as a PDF. Okay, and now I'll work on the assembly of uh, the rack and pinion. But before I work on the assembly, do you have any question regarding the uh, uh, drawing sheet? No questions, it was very clear, thank you. Uh, now to start the assembly, I'll go to start, machining design, then assembly, uh, assembly part. Uh, I'll, um, I have the part already, so I'll click on uh, existing component because I have them already. Then I'll click on product. I'll bring all the parts. Okay, uh, here's the frame, this is the pinion and uh, the rack. I'll go to uh, manipulation. Uh, manipulation is to move the parts. Now I want to move the, the pinion. I'll drag it. I just click on the X and drag it. Uh, if I want to move it in Y direction, I'll click on Y, then move it in Y direction. Uh, now I want to uh, uh, I will uh, connect the pinion to the frame uh, the pinion to the frame so I want to bring it closer I'll go to side view side view because yeah, it will be more easier for me. Now I'll go to isometric. Uh, now I want to fix the pinion to the uh, to the print. Uh, I'll go to uh, coincidence uh, constraint uh, because I want the center of the pinion to fix on the center of the holder. And then I'll go to assist from here. I'll Want to fix this one? For this one. Then I'll click update. And here it is. 
now I want to uh, put the rack, uh, the the rack uh, on the frame. First, I'll just manipulate. I'll move that. I'll go to contact constraint because I want to um, fix the, bo uh, the bottom face of the rack uh, on the top face uh, uh, of the holder here. So I'll like. I'll go to. I'll click here. Then okay, it won't work because it should be um, closer. So And I'll go to contact constraint. Okay, now uh, almost all the parts in its place. Uh, now I will do the simulation. Um, to do the simulation, uh, I'll go from start, uh, digital mockup, then uh, the emu kinematics. Then from here, uh, I'll, to, I'll go to joint uh, creation rack. Uh, I'll create a prismatic joint and revolute joint because the motion between the holder, um, the frame, and the uh, and the rack is a prismatic motion, uh, a prismatic prismatic joint, which is a linear motion. And the uh, and I'll create a revolute joint, which is um, a rotational motion. For uh, for the for the pinion uh, for the pinion. So I'll start with the prismatic uh, joint. I'll go to new mechanism okay. and create. I will select the. Line in this line, and um, the uh, bottom face of the rack and the On the pinion. 
and now OK. Then create. Uh, now the I create the prismatic and now I'll uh, create the revolute uh, the revolute uh, joint. I'll start. Okay. Uh, I'll select the center of the pinion and this is the center of the uh, frame, not the pinion. And now I will hide it so I can select the uh, why I do this because uh, when it's show, I couldn't uh, be able to select the center, uh, the center line of uh, the pinion. So I did, uh, for that I do, uh, I hide it. Then I'll uh, choose this face and that face. Offset. Okay. And okay. Uh, now I'll go to the rack. Okay. Now link the driven from the prismatic. It's from uh, minus uh, 100 millimeter to 100 millimeter. I'll keep it, I'll not change it. And then I'll go to. We can explain. I'll go to export new mechanism. Okay. I already kicked in that one. Cancel. I think I did something wrong. Um, um, I think I did something wrong because uh, the opinion has changed. I shouldn't. Uh, happen in this way. Um, like anyway, I, I already prepared uh, I pre I already prepared before I'll show you when it's work because I don't know what is uh, what is the problem with this one. Uh, so I'll open that part. I'll show you how it's work. Is this one? This is how uh, how the simulation
this is how the simulation worked. Uh, I don't know what I did previously on that uh, part. Um, but this is the final, how it will work. And I can adjust this value and this value too, depending on uh, how fast I want the uh, mechanism to be. And that's all for the simulation. Uh, any question? Uh, of course, by uh, Um, okay, this is uh, was our final design. Uh, I hope it was clear and um, if you have any question, please ask me. And uh, thank you for uh, for listening and Okay, um, to the end of the session, uh, I, uh, I would like uh, if you all uh, to join the Kahoot activity. Thank you all. Uh, the link uh, is not working. Uh... Um, okay, I will solve. I will see and solve it. Um, we will keep it open till nine, so you have time. Once we solve it, I will let you know. Please, uh, our attendee, if I would like to request from you all to um, type Kahoot in the internet and log in, and then type the span code at the top of the screen so you can join us.
I think we will start now.
congratulations for those three winners and good luck for the rest. Thank you all.